Hello, beautiful people. I welcome you once again to Mr. Hallelujah Maths class. All right, we have angles before us for us to solve. Now we are asked to look for X. This angle here, angle X. So what do we do? Now let us pay rules. All right, looking at um, the various angles, if we want to analyze this critically, you see that angle 45 degree here is an alternate angle to this very angle here. So let us label this angle A. That is to say that 45 degrees is alternate to angle A. So it simply means that 45 degree is alternate angle with angle A. All right? Okay. So meaning that angle A is equal to 45 degrees. Now that we have known this part to be 45 degrees, the next thing we need to do now is we need to know this angle here. So let us call this angle, angle B. All right. So the next thing we do is, this is angle on a straight line. So the sum of the angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle on a straight line, therefore B plus 100 is equal to 180 degrees, angle on a straight line. So making B the subject formula simply means that angle B will be equal to 180 degrees minus 100, which will give us B to be equal to what? 80 degrees. So now that we have known our angle A and B, now we can now look for this angle here. Let's call it angle C. All right, so we proceed. We know that the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we say that A plus B plus C will be equal to 180 degrees. We know our A to be 45 degrees, and we know our B to be what? 80 degrees. And we don't know our C. All of this is equal to 180 degrees. So now 45 plus 80 degrees will give us what? 125 degrees. So therefore, making C the subject formula, it simply means that um, C will be equal to 180 degrees minus 125 degrees. So therefore, our C, that is angle C, will now be equal to will be equal to 55 degrees. So now that we have known our angle C to be equal to 55 degrees, now we are looking for angle X. Now we know that this angle form here is angle on a straight line. So therefore it simply means that angle C plus angle X is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, it simply means that angle C, which is 55 degrees, we now move to the other side because we are we are looking for angle X. So angle X will be equal to 180 degree minus 55 degrees. And if we do our arithmetic very well, it simply means that X will be equal to 45 degrees. So X is equal to 45 degrees. Thanks for watching. Do well to follow the page. Bye bye.